So Marvel Snap's newest spotlight cash card is Frigga, and she can be friggin' scary sometimes with stuff like a Mr. Negative deck, where, you know, you flip that Iron Man into a 0-5, and then you copy a 0-5 Iron Man with your Frigga, that is insane. Stuff like Sage goes up to like 20 power, and then you copy a Sage that starts at 20 power because cards have memory in marvel snap when you copy them that can be nuts uh even things like a cassandra novo prior to a mr negative you know push this down as a three six use frigga to copy a base cassandra nova she's starting at three six gets to go again that can be uh you know a lot of uh, debuffs on the opponent's deck but also you know you're just adding like a 310 or something effectively to hand off of frigga so she offers a lot of upside in any kind of deck that has scaling stats like Sage or Nova or any kind of deck that has cost discounts where you can save those permanent cost discounts like Iron Man's and Mystique's and Sage's and Nova's and so on, which I thought made her absolutely insanely perfect for a Mr. Negative deck. Uh, so kind of satisfying both of her upsides. Now, I will acknowledge that Frigga is sometimes pretty clunky because there's a bit of a delay, right? Like you play the card, then you play Frigga, then you play the card, which means you don't have endless time to get all of that done and you don't have endless energy to get all of that done. So there were some moments for sure where this sat in hand and just sort of felt dead or I felt like I just kind of had to play her out as a 3-3 three, three that didn't really do anything meaningful. That's complicated a little bit too, because this deck needs to play Mr. Negative early. And you know, sometimes you have some expensive Iron Mans and, and Janes and stuff you need to play. And it's just like Frigga doesn't find those moments, but when she does find those moments, boy, can she be absolutely insane and swingy and unpredictable. So I will say I had a solid run with this deck. I went uh, 13 and 11. I was up some cubes, but do note two things. Couple bot games in the mix there. So it was really more like 50-50 for performance. That said, also, everybody and their brother right now is running Cosmo because they're running Scar decks. And I got caught off guard by a few Cosmos. You know, I just, you can't avoid it. You play the long, they play the Cosmo. And it's like, oh God, the whole game plan got shut down. So I don't know if right now that uh, this is the best time to play a Mr. Negative deck with or without Frigga just because the meta right now is running enough Cosmo that this kind of build in particular is a bit susceptible. That said, I would park this idea, maybe revisit this a little bit down the road with a meta shift. I do feel like there's something really spooky here with Frigga and a lot of potential spikiness and surprise value in this card. So maybe not today, but maybe someday Frigga does indeed get really friggin' scary in this kind of deck. And of course, she still has some moments today, too. Great portal, featured location. Uh, we actually have Mr. Negative today, but no cheat right now. Psylocke or Ravona on time here would be nice. Or just get crazy lucky and keep, like, all the good stuff in the deck. One of the two. We draw, like, Jane into, like, Wong. We'll be fine. We don't want to draw Iron Man. We don't want to draw Nova. We don't want to draw Sage, basically. So yeah, Baxter building is pretty great for us. We're usually good at stacking one spot super hard. So we'll just magic left or whatever. And then uh, Mr. Negative's fine. Give me something that lets me play negative now. Elysium. We did it the Jane though. That's really good news. Hmm, I have a little debate here. Do I ever like keep my hand full? Mr. Negative on four. I got to play magic on five really if I want to be excited about this. Eh, I think it's okay. Taskmaster's kind of a downside. Maybe we do this. Some stuff I don't mind getting cheated out, like Eliath would be okay, but I don't know. Some of this stuff's pretty conditional. Let's let's sit. As long as we don't draw like exactly Iron Man here, I'm, I think this is definitely the better line to take. That's Wong, bottom card of the deck. Okay. Sage is not an ideal, but it's okay too. Iron Man Mystique both in there is really good, right? So we just need to make sure we play Jane with two slots open, which won't be next turn, actually. We have to... Can I empty the hand then off? I don't really see it. I don't see how. When it has snapped, it might be able to turn off Limbo. And that's going to make this tough. <laughs> I don't know. Bastos kind of coming in awkwardly late here. 
Mephisto's and copycat. I mean, there's just no way to know. Okay, hear me out. I'm gonna, uh... Yeah, I mean... Okay, I'm gonna do this. If they... We should be fine if they turn off Limbo. I can play Frigga plus... Uh, what are we doing? Mystique? Uh, well, we, we would probably Mystique and then Frigga, right? So the Mystique copies Iron Man. Yeah, that's gonna give us a bunch of Iron Mans. Okay, I think we'll actually be fine if they turn off Limbo. If that's why they snapped, we're, we're, we're effectively putting in power soon enough here that I don't think it's going to be an issue. They might have just snapped for the Wong Fastos. Maybe we're overthinking the Limbo timing snap. It might just be they liked Wong Fastos a lot, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That's that's really sick. <laughs> I would be excited about that as well. Sebastian Shaw apparently was in hand, though. Didn't do anything. So that's kind of crazy. Um, So Iron Man here. I am. Iron Man. Like the Mystique is slightly worse to copy than the Iron Man, but we need the Mystique to be an Iron Man. So I think we do that into this, into probably this. Three cards in deck. I mean, she's tiny. I need to make sure. I, I, well, I'd like that priority number one, right? That'd be nice. Still quite a bit of power here between the Mystique and the Nova. Next turn looks to me like we know we're drawing Ravona. It, it might just be Mystique and Eliath, right? I think that might be it. I think this is fine. This is a great Frigga, right? This is the dream Frigga scenario. We got three Iron, Iron Man. Mans this game, in essence. It, it kind of feels like mid is out of reach for them unless they have, you know, Enchantress or something, but this just looks like Surfers. I don't expect any kind of, like, Enchantress play or whatever. That doesn't seem likely. Sarah, that does. I, I am a bit worried, though, about a uh, Shadow King, maybe. Where does that want to go, I guess, is the question. Like, I think you win this even if they have a Shadow King. Even if they have a Rogue. I don't know if we beat a Rogue. Shadow King, I think we beat. Eliath shuts anything down here. I mean, they might want to play more Eliath stuff mid, but I think we just have better numbers here. Like, this, the base of power is higher thanks to Jane and Frigga, and, and we'd still have one Iron Man if they did like a rogue or something. Not even sure they'll have that, right? But it's a possibility. So I, I think I like this alignment better. Th this feels better against non-disruptive stuff too, because you're putting more Iron Mans in Baxter building where it's more important, basically. This Eliath could be pretty clutch here, man. I think we'd be playing a Sage otherwise, which isn't by any means bad or anything. That's totally okay, but... Um... Let's just see, I guess. How does this shake out, man? I am Iron Man. Triple Iron Man game. Sage is big. This is just a surfer mid. Yeah, that should be totally fine. Killmonger. Okay. Surfer mid cannot catch us here. It's great. Don't get me wrong. That Wong they got was this. I can see why they snapped on the Wong now. This was insane. Uh, Sage buffs, extra surfer hits. Kind of a crazy turn. I don't think the Nova would have mattered either, by the way. We just have obscene numbers here. Yeah, Frigga gives us triple Iron Man, dude. Like, what can you do? It's hard to beat, man. This is a ridiculously strong game from the opponent. If you just look at this power Victory. output here, really nice. And ours is just on a different planet. One, two, three. Thank you, Frigga. Well, it's a bot game and I got Mr. Negative on turn three again. That's how this always seems to go. Uh, may just put this in the video anyway, though, because I can't seem to draw Mr. Negative against real human men. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not a bot. I it could be. Feral's a weird name. Maybe it's a human. Maybe we don't take it for granted. Let, let, let's, let's see. Let's not pout just yet, you know. Save, save the pouting for later. So Cole Obsidian is dead to us. We have no one cost cards. I like that Mr. Negative gets deleted here. That's pretty cool. Oh, they played a magic for us. That gives us a bit more uh, like flexibility. They did not. I, I don't actually know this is a bot, by the way, man. These like variants don't look like bot variants to me so much. Now I'm not so sure. Well, we don't have to do that now, do we? I don't want that to go away. Maybe uh, I can't play Wong there now. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. We can long next turn and then Jane on on uh, six. Dude, I don't think this is a bot. I don't think bots play Mr. Negative for the record. I, I think this is a human being. I think he's a real human man named Feral. Feral. 
red hulk oh that was from that was from the, the the thing i was like why do they have a red hulk losing my mind uh yeah so let's get a wong down oh actually uh oh yeah jane's next turn i kind of need to play frigga next turn too though if i'm gonna play the frigga at all i Depending on what we draw, that might be better than Jane. We'll have to see, right? Probably not. I don't see it being... But if we drew, like, a, a Sage and I could double it with Frigga, that might be better than a Jane, actually. We drew the Mystique instead. Also something kind of cool there. Do I like... I think, I think with Taskmaster... I think I like Mystique better on the Wong, right? Yeah, I'm sad the Frigga here is lost. The Frigga here is lost. I mean, you, you could do this into this and get another Wong line here. This, I think, is only good if you draw exactly Sage, though. Because then you could have a, another Mystique and then Sage Taskmaster. Like, do we need that to win, you know? Another question is, is do we need the Mystique Iron Man to win? I will say, like, Cassandra's a pretty bunk draw for us. Like, it just sucks. Maybe I just go for the one and three here, man. I don't know. Feeling spicy. Like, I don't think we are favored in this game right now. Outside of some spice. I'm gonna maybe play this for a little bit of spice. What? I am Iron Man. Why? Devil Dinosaur? I just need to draw Sage, dude. Pay off this spicy decision. Pay it off, dude. Pay off this decision. One time. Give me the spice. Oh, the spice must flow, guys. Don't you know? The spice must flow. Well, now there's no way we lose, right? We ever go left? Does Taskmaster carry left? I mean, it does, right? It, I'm too lazy to do the math, but it totally does. But I think it's, uh, wait, 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 it's fine. Wait, it's just what these do. It's okay. Somehow I have priority, by the way, which is wild. Like, they did not play anything mid, so I just five and five somehow take priority on turn six is insane. Um, uh, okay, let's see. It's 39. I think that feels good. I think that feels good. I don't know. Don't have like a stupid I thing. Am Iron Man. I don't understand the devil dinosaur at all. That didn't like come out. That was from their deck, right? Like it's in the deck. You usually have tiny hands in these kind of decks. I, I don't am know. Iron Man. I played one card here. What could it be? Oh, that's nothing. That's the tiniest little baby I've ever seen in my life. Oh, uh oh. Nothing, right? Nothing scary. Yeah, dude. Nice. The tiniest baby, a 24 power Red Hulk. No, no, no worries. Our stage is insane. Dude, we made the Frigga Spice. I don't think we would have won this game with the other line, by the way. I don't know if just like uh, Iron Man, Sage, Nova, Nova could have taken both of these spots. Maybe, I mean, maybe the Sage is big enough. I don't know, so I do the math, I guess. Somebody can figure it out. Oh my God, dude, this hand um, actually does. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Ravona is just better. Yeah, okay. Opponents snapped on this. They're excited, dude. I just need to find a Frigga, dude. Let's go. Frigga's insane. Uh, we're playing Mr. Negative next turn. Let's go. And let's see, opponent has White Widow, in which case I'll be very angry. Zabu early for them and zero. So this is definitely like a big scar deck. I mean, we can definitely outpower that if it goes well. There's no question. <gasps> Oh, that makes things very interesting, though. Holy moly. Um, so this might just legit be a tiebreaker game. Which, again, we're pretty great at tiebreakers usually because of Iron Man. Or just, like, big Wong plays, whatever. You know. Okay. I wouldn't really expect their deck to have a path... I don't have a magic, so I don't. Can I really afford to skip turn? No, I gotta, I gotta get going, right? I can't do infinite stuff. I don't think. Wong left is probably better for us always, right? Even though we lose an energy, like we're gonna have plenty of energy if things go well, so that doesn't really matter. I 
Don't expect a lot of like disruption from the opponent at all. It's just gonna be about big numbers. This is just a big number game. I really wanna see Frigga for a Sage though. That's kind of what I'm hoping to find. Or just Iron Man's too, I guess. Mystique is also nuts. But I need the opponent to play cards here first. Does this leave me enough space to do cool things? Nah, uh, maybe not. I don't know. With, with multiple turns, maybe not. So if I draw like Frigga next turn, I can go like Sage, Frigga. <sighs> Obviously Iron Man or Nova, you just slam. Jane, you play... Oh, no, Jane costs six. We can't play Jane. Yeah, I don't think there's any really need to play a Psylocke. I'm a bit worried about space because of Frigga and zero cost cards. That may not necessarily be true, but I don't know That's what we're thinking about anyway. Opponents got to play in Superflow, right? Like they, I, I need them to start playing stuff so that so that say, oh my good God, dude. This man. This man. Okay. Iron Man can still win that, right? Like we're fine. Magic. Actually, Iron Man into Frigga would have been insane, but I guess we don't have time anymore. So that's not really a possibility. This man, dude. Forgot Cosmo is very common in these decks. This fella. This guy. Shadow King. Okay. I am going to need the craziest Iron Man. I don't even really know if I have an Iron Man that's good enough, though. It's what's, what's... Like, do we really have that? I think there's just no way to win, right? I think we're just cooked. Does Infinite Iron Man win if I just skip six? Hello, hello. I think this is the line, but I don't, I don't know if it wins, man. Maybe it does win, though. This is kind of nuts, actually. <laughs> I think I found the line, dude. No, I think this is the line, dude. Is it enough to win? I think it might be, right? They have eleven there. Oh, just ten? Yeah, that actually did. Hello, so happy. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter, of course, but this might be the line, dude. dude. I think we found it, guys. I am Iron Man. I think we found the freaking line, dude. What a steal. Oh, my God, dude. What a steal. This is the line, man. Woo! Cosmo about Victory. ruined our life, but Infinite saved it, dude. I, did, did I? Was this the game I made fun of the, the great portal for being average? The average portal? No, that was a great portal for once. <laughs> <sighs> Great portal. In my experience, it's been more like the below average portal, but you know. <laughs> it's taking a claim to fame. It does not deserve. Maybe for some decks, it's the great portal. For us, it's definitely the below average portal. I'll tell you what else has been below average. Mr. Negative, dude. I am having a really bad stretch. Where is my guy? Can't find my boy. Okay. Yeah, I want to put twos away from each other for Sage. Bro, no, they got it. That's not fair. Not fair at all. Maybe I should go like Nova, Frigga, and abandon the magic, you know? You just hope, but it never... It never works out, dude. I don't know. Now I'm like off curve on the Frigga. Well, we can go Frigga Ravona. I guess that's decent. Free Jane at least, so we know their deck's not getting tiny. Oh, we also have priorities, so that helps too, I guess. I am. Iron Man, Iron Man. already. Uh, I mean, it's just like Frigga's just not that interesting here, to be honest. <laughs> it's just not that good. Um, it's, they won't have any cards left, you know? It's just not that good. I don't even know. Maybe you're better off Frigga Ravona, to be honest. I'm not even sure that you're not better off with Frigga Ravona. Uh, I mean, we, we, we could go for the Sage already, I guess, right? If you Sage on, if you finish on a Sage on five, Frigga on six, this, this Ravona doesn't really help though. We have priority, so. I don't know, Sage is definitely better than, than, uh, than Nova here, so maybe. Double Iron Man mid already. Is this Frigga, dude? They are hitting the nuts. Iron Man. I've been trying. Oh no, it's just Sarah. Okay. Dude, their cards are free. Free, dude. Free. That's the big sage. 
We're not winning mid, so I'm just putting negative there. I mean, the negative's relevant because if I hit an Iron Man, maybe we have some play. Iron Man costs four, Mystique is two, Sage is three, though, so we have to pick our battle there a little bit. Oh, my Bro, are they going hand. for Tribunal right now? Negative Tribunal is evil, man. I can't stop that at all. No disruption. They were really nice with all their emotes, though. I mean, we can't, we just, like, they're just literally impossible to beat negative tribunals. So listen, listen, they were really nice with all their emotes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them the Red Skull Mystique. <laughs> Let's just give them a little bump. This is fun, dude. Oh my God, dude, this is funny. Such is my judgment. Red, they're gonna really laugh when they see this, dude. They're at 98 each. Let's see how much this bumps them. <laughs> Quite possibly the worst play of all time. <laughs> I am Iron Man. Oh, I love it, dude. That's funny. They were really fun with the emotes, so. All right, that's a good loss, dude. Classic stuff. All right, we got a Cole Obsidian bonus. Uh, Medusa. Oh, fancy. What if this is a Frigga, like, tempo build? Because I considered Medusa Frigga. I was looking at, like, two drops. You know, they're good. Wow, look at them go, dude. That's amazing. I was looking for two drops that are, like, good, uh, you know, uh, stat gainers. You can just play Frigga on curve and have a good card back. You know, Medusa is pretty solid. It's like, oh, okay. You, get, you basically get kind of a 2-8 back. Um, which, you know, not amazing, but interesting enough. I don't have a great way to get to Luke's bar, right? So I think I need to turn it off over Lechaguia. Like, we can just dump this late. We're really good at dumping power late. Oh, whoa, interesting. Giving me even more opportunity in Luke's bar. Ultimately, didn't need it, but that's fine that they're together too. I don't mind at all. So yeah, Wong is good. They, they, they clearly have some... Oh, that's just Erishim. Am I dumb? Did they play this on one this whole time? Maybe I am dumb. Red Guardian. Hit magic. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. We don't care about Widow's Kiss. That can go away so easily. So easily. Uh, Iron Man's a decent freaking card. I'm just thinking about also like Sage looks pretty good right now. Because of the long. I mean, you could even do this and get two of these back. Dude. The Widow's Kiss. I mean, it's going away anyway, so there's like space. Oh, dude, this is sick. This is actually really cool. I like this a lot. Oh, it's only getting two power, or four, you know, total power, two hits, I should say. But twice, that's still really nice because you're getting some creates at a base. That's a really good place to start from, you know. And notably, they don't have Ravona discounts, but. I think you're still pretty happy. There's that Red Hulk over there. Might be hard to solo. Just thinking a little bit here, like how do we want to navigate all this? If I go for this Sage now, we got one, two, three, four, five. I mean, that's really big. It, it, we just lose to like, I don't know, you know, Shadow King type stuff because we're all in on this already. Like if we lose priority and finish on the Sage, I think we're a little happier. I could go like Iron Man plus Psylocke maybe. And then try to finish on the Sages. It doesn't let me do a Taskmaster is the only thing. So it might be less total power. But I think it's definitely a lot better when you consider priority stuff. Uh, the Psylocke doesn't really do anything, but I have nothing else to do anyway, so I guess it's kind of free, right? Spider Woman, okay. Hazmat as well. Oh my god, dude. Are these, are these all from Erishim? What just happened? Crap, is Iron Man? Iron Man Sage should still be in the area, right? Alright. Oh, we're at 8 in it, actually. Forgot we were on Limbo. Yeah, I mean, I we'll try, right? Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, how many? How many? Uh, we got one, two, three, four cards left. Maybe five. So Sage should gain like twenty. She should be like twenty-eight left. Oh yeah, the double Sage, dude. The threat is too high. Let's go. I love that Frigga here gave me a great win condition with no Mr. Negative, dude. These Sage copies are sick.
Okay, I, I put this in the deck to copy zero cost stuff. That's barely happened to me yet, but Frigga's kind of doing work anyway. I'm pumped. That was good stuff. Okay, Ravona negative's awesome, yeah. Cloak, so we got some move stuff. Uh, oh, maybe not, maybe Arishem, yeah. They play this on one, so probably don't care about the move at all, do you? Well, yeah, we really only, I mean, Ravona's good later. You know, you got Iron Man, Mystique stuff, but I, I like a Hulk too, and then, you know, we can make the negative uh, a Hulk as well. So the Ravona and, and negative both here seem pretty good. That was a Psylocke. That could be a lot worse. They could have gotten an Iron Man or something insane. Also to relieve to know that Psylocke's on the bottom of my deck. That's great news for this Mr. Negative. I mean, that said, he only kind of has two cards right now, Wong and Nova that are decent. But um, Need of Valir gives us some cool plays with Taskmaster because we can bump up by five. Uh, Frigga Sage is pretty good too. Although, a bit expensive for sure. They went anti venom. Okay. I mean, I love I love this hand, by the way, right after you play. Now, how does this work, dude? I don't know what it's gonna do. Does it give you a Hulk? I think it gives you a Hulk, right? I'm just playing it because I literally have nothing else to do. I think it gives you a Hulk, man. Yes! Indeed it does, okay. Vision, Bishop, I mean, it's all just made up stuff, right? None of this is real. If you go Sage here, you have a pretty good Taskmaster. It's just kind of then a question about like, do you like the Taskmaster better than other options? Do you like, how do you move it in New York? Um, Nova's a slight bonus next turn. You could also consider Iron Man over Taskmaster, like that might just be better sometimes. Hopefully we get some good... Yeah, we got 8, 9, 10 already. That's good. Wong's gonna be, what, 7? The Silk's kind of a repeat. All right, and she's gone. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the 9's a repeat, unfortunately. So, Not the world's best uh, Sage, but solid anyway. The, the, the Wong and the Need of Lear make Taskmaster much more interesting, right? So the opponent only has, like, one spot here. With rock, maybe we just do this because Iron Man's 24. Like, this is only 17 anyway. Maybe rock here is okay. Iron Man here feels pretty secure, right? I only have one spot, and that also moves the silk out. A little bit worried about silk moving left, but I don't know if the opponent goes for left. They might be intimidated by the Wong. I don't know. They might give left and try to win elsewhere. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Iron Man obviously will carry this, no problem. Wait, they just played a Kingpin? Okay, I that surprises me. Iron what was Man. in hand? I don't understand. Oh, they basically had nothing in hand, it looks like. <clears throat> kind of dumped everything already, I guess. Man, what a weird game. I mean, were these, like, in their... Were these just all Arishim cards? Yeah, I mean, they just did not hit any, like, real cards. It seems like Vision was it. Yeah, they just must have drawn really light this game. Okay, pretty interesting hand, actually. This would be a great negative hand. Just, um... Uh, I'd even take a turn four negative with this hand. That's fine. You mentioned we'll just turn off, probably, right? Not too... They might, too. They got Nico Transform here. Nico Dazzler. So looking like some kind of zoo package. Oh, we'll turn that off, too. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, give me that negative. It's not too late to still be interesting. I think Ramona does make this deck viable even without the negative. Frigga can kind of help too, actually. Between the two. I don't expect the zoo deck to have a location transform other than Nico, which they... Mr. Negative right here. One time. One time, baby. One time. Lizard. That's kind of bad. I don't like that. They're very likely to fill the location. Elysium is insane for us, though. Okay, so... We probably need a lot of power mid. Um, Sage can definitely provide that to some extent, right? Uh, I'm just thinking mid because that's where the Dazzler is, right? Like if that's what, if we want to go toe to toe with their bigger spot, it's going to be a Dazzler spot. Now that said, th there are currently like not great Sage breakpoints. Maybe we put the, maybe we put the Taskmaster there. Uh, this is this is four cards for sage already which is pretty good 
committing to this a bit early is the only thing, right? Like it's, and I can do it next turn, but it gives them very, very fixed numbers sort of thing, you know? Yeah, this two doesn't help us. We don't, we don't have to do it like right now necessarily. I don't think they're gonna have anything that goes over to my side. I don't expect goblins or, you know, play Kate Bishop arrow or whatever, anything like that shouldn't happen. Um, so maybe for now we'll just play Jane as is. Frigga would be cool too, but you can't benefit from both Taskmaster and Frigga, I guess. But Frigga's better than Taskmaster, it really. I mean, you could, well, you, you can benefit, I guess. That's not true. If you do it now, if I get the Frigga right now, we can still benefit, I guess. Kazar does add a stat line. Now, Lizard, as soon as they fill up, is back to one, which matches Patriot, sadly. No Frigga lines. I mean, this kind of feels like it's just going to be Iron Man stuff, right? There's no good draw other than Iron Man. Do we trust the Taskmaster here? How big is this going to be? I mean, it's pretty big. I guess we, we don't have to play the Nova now. She's just one smaller next turn, but it might be the best thing I can play here, which frankly might make a difference. So I don't know. This stage is freaking enormous, so I think we'll be okay either way. I, you kind of worry about Shadow King. You kind of worry about Shang-Chi, obviously. Uh, maybe we maybe we should have waited till next turn. I don't know. We actually draw the freaking iron. Is this win here? Probably not realistically, right? Oh, they're just done. Okay. Victory. Like if you don't, you don't get to play an Iron Man top deck if you wait, but I mean, this is so big. Maybe you just don't care, right? Like, I don't know. Maybe we overthought this. It's so big. I don't think you care. I think you just wait to, to avoid any risk of priority problems. I mean, there could be a Cosmo or something too though. So who knows?